wonder what wonder what Mr. Bender's up to these days. Let's give him a ring. Mr. B. Mr. B. Like, what's up? Yo, dude, like, I mean, how's it going? I haven't talked to you in, like, forever. It seems like it's been, like, at least 15 years or something. I don't know. It's been just a really long time. Like, how, how are you doing? What's going on? Like, man, it's, like, so cool to hear from you. Hey, so, like, you called me. What's... What's up? What's on your mind? I mean, I was thinking, like, it seems like we haven't done a video in, like, forever, so would you be up for maybe doing some sort of, like, video? Like, dude, that is, like, the most awesome idea I have ever, like, heard. Let's do it. Okay, well, like, what do you, I don't know, do you, do you have an idea? Like, what should we do? I mean, I really, I'm just kind of, I'm out of ideas. What should we do? Well, like... Have you ever had one of those ideas that just kind of pop into your head and you have no explanation at all, like, where it came from? Dude, yeah, like, I, oh my gosh, like, um, um, no, actually, I don't think I've ever had an experience like that, so, I don't know. All right, play along with me here, but, like, what I'm thinking is, like, a video on combining like terms. Oh my gosh, combining like terms. I don't even know where you could have thought of that. Like, you are a genius. Like, seriously. Oh my gosh, where is your brain from? Not around here. I, like, have no idea where I came up with that. But, uh, hey, we need to get started on this video. Um, where are you right now? Dude, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm just sitting in my room right now. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where I'm at. So, uh, where, uh, where are you at? I'm in your room, too. Dude! <laughs> Whoa! Like, Bob, why were we talking on the phone? We Whoa, didn't... that is so, like, stupid. Like, we don't even need this. We were right here the whole time. Whoa! <laughs> Dude! So, uh, hey, do you, so we'll do a couple examples of uh, combining like, term, like terms to solve okay. expressions. Uh, yeah. Do you want to go first? Uh, I don't care. Um, I want to go first. I want to go first. I want to go first. Um, rock, paper, scissors? All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. I'll... <laughs> All right, you win. Okay, so, Mr. B, can you give me an example to solve? Uh, sure. How about uh, two parentheses, 2A, minus 5, end parentheses, minus 2A, plus 7. Okay, all right. So like we're simplifying expressions. The whole idea of this is to like just make this big, long e expression just shorter. We're, we're trying to like combine like terms so we can like simplify this expression. So first thing that I have to do here is this is a multiplying pro problem number two times this. We don't know what this is, but so we can't solve what's in the parentheses first like order of operations says to. But because multiplying comes before everything else, I'm going to have to do this problem by using the distributive property. So I'm going to distribute the 2 to the 2a first. Okay, and distributive means that I'm going to distribute the 2 to everything inside. So this is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. And then I keep the variable the same, bring that down. And now I do, that's positive 2 times negative 5. 2 times negative 5, since the signs are different, it has to be negative 10. Now I just bring down the other stuff because that wasn't in parentheses. And now that I took care of all parentheses, all of the multiplying is done, I have just adding and subtracting problems left over, I can combine like terms. So I'm going to look for like terms, and I know that 4a and negative 2a are like terms because they both have the same variable with the same exponent, and in, th in this case there is no exponent. So this is 4a minus 2a, or I could think of it as 4a and negative 2a, and that's going to give me positive 2a left over. And like what I just did was I combined like terms, 
so that I have a simplified version so far. Now I have negative 10 and a positive 7. Those are both just constants. Since they're both constants, they're just numbers, they can be combined in like terms as well. Now this is negative 10 and positive 7. Since the signs are different, I have to subtract, and that's going to leave me with negative 3 because the bigger number is negative as opposed to the smaller number being positive. And that would be my final answer. I can't do anything else. This has a variable. This one doesn't. They're not like terms. Final answer. All right, Mr. B, do you have an example for me? I do. Okay, how about you do uh, 4a squared minus 9 minus 3a squared plus 6. Okay, once again, we're looking to uh, combine like terms. And like when you look at this like expression, there's no parentheses, so we do not need to worry about getting rid of parentheses first. So the first term I have is an a squared with a coefficient of 4. And in this expression, there's another a squared term, which happens to be a negative 3a squared. So those are definitely like terms. So we're going to like combine them. Now, if you have 4 and then minus 3, the net result of that would be positive 1. And when you have a coefficient of 1, you really don't need to show that coefficient. So it's simply just a. So if you have 4a and you take away 3a, that just leaves a. And then, of course, we still have the squared, the coefficient, or the exponent does remain. The other two like terms are like negative 9 and positive 6. So they're definitely like terms. So you like combine them. Now you have a negative and a positive, so you subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3, but the negative sign is in front of the bigger number, so it becomes minus 3. So this big expression can be simplified to simply a squared minus like 3. So, like, what did you think about our lessons? Like, do you think that's going to get the point across to the kids? Well, like, my thoughts are, and I don't mean to bust on us, but like, when people use the word like a lot, like yeah. I think we're doing. You think? I don't know like, if you picked really up on think, that. Yeah, like, huh. But like it, I don't know, it just it doesn't sound real intelligent, you know? And I, and I like, really. Like why not? Well, like, I mean, we're professionals. Mm -hmm. and, and we want to exude a sense of professionalism mm -hmm. in our teaching. Oh, okay. And I think like, when we say like, like all the time, mm -hmm. it brings that professionalism level down. No, like, I'm Are you just, like I'm just so like used to it. I guess it's just natural. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like someone. Uh, oh, you know who is like incredibly smart. Probably never word uses the word like. Like I'm sure he never uses it. And I bet he could make the video for us, and it would okay. be way more professional because like he would never use the word like. I can almost like guarantee. That. Like who are you talking about? Dr. Von Nostrom. Dr. Van Nostrum? <laughs> Van Nostrum. Oh, Van Nostrum. Okay. Yeah, he went to Harvard. Like, Harvard, he's got, like, a doctorate degree. The guy's, like, a major well, let's, brain. He's do you think like, we could go find him and, and have him do it for us? Do you think he would? I, let's try. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Dr. Van Nostrum. Like, yes. How are you? Very good. I, um... um what can I do for you gentlemen today? Um, we were hoping that you could just show us a lesson on uh, simplifying expressions and combining like terms. Do you think like you could do that for us? Like, like, dude, that would be amazing because I am talking about simplifying expressions with the cockroaches. I'm trying to teach them how to do that. Like, can they simplify something that's not already simplified? But I can't quite get them to understand like communication, right? You know what I'm talking about, dudes? Um, like, if this cockroach can use numbers, could it simplify those numbers? Like, what do you think? Um, uh, you, you went to Harvard, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Princeton first, I, like, then Harvard. I, I think, I think the, I think you just got an email. Um, you should probably go check that. I think um, your mother might be calling. Yeah. Oh, um, my yeah, mommy! There's, mommy, there's, yeah, there's, there's definitely, mommy! There's some more cockroaches on the ground. You need, you need to go get them. Shoot. I don't know.
rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, <laughs> all right, you win. All right, let's just <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, did I do a good job? I'd say, like, yes. Awesome. And then if you do credits, uh, you're done still. What? <laughs>